good example. Example 8.3 says, show that the kinetic energy K and the momentum P of a particle with mass M are related by kinetic energy is equal to momentum squared divided by 2M. So basically, since kinetic energy and momentum are both dependent on mass and this one's speed, this one's velocity, that they have similar things going into them so they should be relatable. And so we're gonna look at how we can relate those. Now the thing is, kinetic energy is a scalar momentum's a vector. So the first thing we're gonna do is get rid of the direction off of here. And we're just gonna talk about the magnitude. So I'm gonna square everything. And this allows me to say that the speed squared is equal to the momentum squared divided by the mass squared. Make my substitution for V squared here. So I have kinetic energy is one half M times momentum squared divided by M squared. I lose one of my masses and I'm to the equation they wanted me to look at. If I have a scenario where I have the momentum and the mass, I can find the kinetic energy. Okay. So let's take a look at B. So a 0 0.04 kilogram cardinal, rich Mondian, Mondina? Cardinalis, perhaps? And a 0.145 kilogram baseball have the same kinetic energy, which has a greater magnitude of momentum, and what is the ratio of the momentums? Okay, so if they have the same kinetic energy, well, that means that the one with the larger momentum is gonna have to have a larger mass in order for that ratio to stay the same and have the same kinetic energy. So now they want me to go, well, what is the ratio of their momentums? All right, so in order to find that, I need to first solve this for momentum. So me momentum is going to be K times two times M, all square rooted. So this will give me the momentum. And now I want the momentum of the cardinal divided by the momentum of the baseball. That will give me the ratio of these two. And so I have the square root of two K mass of cardinal and divided by the square root of 2k mass of baseball. And so at this point, they have the same kinetic energy. The twos cancel as well. So I'm left with this square root of mc divided by mb. So now I just need to use those two numbers they gave me here. So I have the square root of 0 0.04, the cardinal's mass divided by the baseball, 0.145. And when I plug that in my calculator, I get a ratio of 0.525 for the ratio of the momentum of the cardinal to the momentum of the baseball. All right, let's do part C then. A 700 Newton man and a 450 Newton woman have the same momentum. Okay, so now they have the same momentum. Who has the greater kinetic energy? And what is the ratio? All right, so if they have the same momentum, all right, so let's try this one again over here. So let's get rid of these and we'll try a different one. So if they have the same momentum, the one with the larger mass is going to have a smaller kinetic energy. So that means the man has a smaller amount of kinetic energy than the woman. The woman has a greater kinetic energy than the man. And it wants to know what is the ratio of the man's kinetic energy to the woman's. Okay, so we have kinetic energy of man to kinetic energy of woman. I have my wonderful equation right here. So I have the momentum squared divided by two times the mass of the man divided by the momentum squared divided by two times the mass of the woman. Again, they have the same momentum, so my momentum squareds cancel, the twos cancel, and I'm left with, so I have a fraction on top, a fraction on the bottom, so this kind of comes out to mass of woman divided by mass of man. Now, they gave me the weights though. So I saw I saw it 700 newtons and 450. So I'm just gonna multiply the top and bottom by G to get this in more of the um, weight category. So then I have 450 divided by 700, meaning the kinetic energy of the man um, is, whatever that comes out to be, 0.643, the moment, or the kinetic energy of the woman. Was there a D here? Nope. Um, the key, a nice little side note here though. Um, when two objects have the same momentum, the smaller one is gonna have a lot more kinetic energy. Um, this is gonna play a part when we have two objects that interact. Think about like a bullet and a gun. 
they push off each other with equal and opposite forces. So they're going to end with equal and opposite momentums, um, but different kinetic energies. And so we're going to talk about that a little bit later on when we start to do those interactions between particles.